Joshua Tree National Park in Palm Springs, California. It's a very early morning and we're here for the launch of the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Uh, today's gonna be awesome because the way we are kicking off today is with a selection of fantastic supercars which are down in the valley right here. And the best thing is we get to drive all of them all day. So I've got a mixture of an Audi R8 V10 Plus, a California Turbo and also a C63. AMG. I got a feeling we're gonna find some fantastic mountain roads. So without further ado, let's hop in and do this. Um, yeah, so guys, this is Alan. Uh, and so we get randomly paired, don't we? We get randomly paired with uh, our uh, partner drivers for the day. Uh, Alan's very kindly given me first drive in the R8 V10 Plus. What's your remit in this? Like, how do you... Uh, my company is a partner with Michelin. Awesome. So right, we cool. do um, exotic car style restoration. Ah, nice. So Michelin guys have been extremely good and professional. Yes. Great partners. So with that said, that's it. Fantastic. And now you're here for what looks to be quite a special event. It seems like it. I'm very impressed with the organization. Know, very well right. done. So what I haven't shown you yet is that we have a police escort up front and behind to A, make sure we stay as a group, B, give us the access to the right roads and see, make sure we're not all a bunch of idiots. <laughs> so, all clear, all the way back, roll through. And that's why it's handy to have a policeman with you. <laughs> just, just keep going. So back home, what we call a park oh, is wow. where you would kick a football around. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, that's that's national Park, 3,000. Okay, so to, to put the size of Joshua Tree into perspective, uh -huh. which is 3,100. Uh -huh. London, the uh -huh. city of London, yeah. is 1,572. Oh my, so 1,500. <laughs> so twice as large as London. Twice as large as London Makes as a national park. Sense. That kind of put, gives you some perspective of just oh, the weird. size of this country. It's unbelievable. Okay, so that was our first leg of this fantastic journey. I also have landed with the legend that is Alan, <laughs> giving us his my great coach. Because you could land with anyone, you know. Yeah, but I've landed absolutely. with this guy, and he's awesome. He's absolutely. awesome. So uh, yeah, but look at this place. As you see in a minute ago, I was just uh, describing how large it is infinitely um, yeah but now our uh, stop is quite short because we are swapping cars yeah uh, the electric handbrake thing right. it will not move doesn't <laughs> matter yeah, what you also, do also like it doesn't matter what car what yeah. brand of car yeah. i'm in yeah. same um person. i never know which way yeah. to push yeah. it like is on which way is right. on, on yeah. i get in and i want to go quickly and i'm like put, and i put it on instead Perfect. of turning it off right. and actually mercedes did change the way they used to do it so okay. now it's the opposite <laughs> like, yeah. Right. Another driver change, super windy here, hope this mic's working. It's such a fast-paced event, 
I don't mean driving wise, it's the slowest driving event I've ever done. I mean, it's a fast paced event in terms of sort of how often we have to change, swap drivers, etc. So I'm finding it really hard to shoot this beautifully, as it were. But we are getting to drive some really cool cars. It's absolutely freezing though, so I'm going to hop back in the uh, Cali pretty During quick. The speed, it's obviously quite hard to tell much about both tyre and car, but what's your thoughts on it? I think you still, I mean, tyre-wise, you, you still feel comfort, so there's yeah. very little noise coming in as far as road noise, right? Sure. But as a car, it's kind of uninspiring. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm not in this thinking, I can tell I'm in a Ferrari. I, you, you know what really, I mean? You're absolutely right. I'm a little bit like, yeah. if you took the badges off, yeah. I don't know, really. It's not really I that inspiring, is it? Or plasticky. I mean, so. would you ever have met the day when a Ferrari inspired less than an Audi? Yeah, no. Right? That's just happened. <laughs> I agree with you. Now I'm more keen than ever to get on track, you know, to experience right. what these right. tires are actually all about. With it being a turbocharged engine, though, the gear shifts, I mean, it spools that turbo up really nicely, even right. on a downshift. Right. It's got it's torque, it. and when you're up the revs a bit more, it does have that Ferrari flavor. Yeah. But but on your sort of average cruise, it's kind of quite sedate, really. Oh, but maybe that's what you wanted in a car. Maybe we're looking at this Ferrari badge, expecting the like. I think we're not the time. I mean? Yeah. We're not the time. Arrived at Thermal Club. Already looks like there's some serious cars here. So we made it. We made it to Thermal Raceway. People were not kidding. There are some serious cars here. Like, really serious. And the location's stunning as well. So before I show you around some of the other cars here, I've got some track time now in an M4. Or it might be an M3. But uh, yeah, let's hop in. Check out this track. So here we are. Track time in an M3 four-door on right, we'll the new Michelin PS4S. Let's see what it's all about. This event is uh, if I was doing this test drive back home in England, we just wouldn't have the tarmac temperatures that we've got here. And I don't get, don't get me wrong, it's not baking hot, it's not the middle of summer, but in England right now, it's like well, it's minus three. <laughs> um, but it's really cool because you only start to feel a tire fall off when it starts to reach a uh, temperature where its compound changes. So, having that heat available out here is really cool and it's great. You know, it feels like a really capable tire. It's great fun. Really, really good. I mean, it feels like you could lap on this for quite a while. I mean, without going like 10 tenths. You could lap on this for quite some time before it got too soft. It's nice. And of course, don't forget, this tire you could then drive home on in a downpour. I mean, that's the kind of level we're at now. Track day, drive home, and you could encounter rain and gravel and whatever you want. It's mad, really. I mean, you know, take an R8 now, they are daily drivers. You know, 600 brake horsepower cars are now daily drivers. And of course, what comes with driving a daily car is encountering different kinds of weather day in, day out. And this is a problem that manufacturers have. So to be able to do this, hop on track, have a great day, and then drive home, and then use it every other day for your commute to work if you wanted to. It's pretty sweet, right? All right, just hopped out of the M3 with the new Pilot Sport 4S tires on. What can I say? I'm very impressed with it. 
It's really cool. I think you really discover a tire's characteristics on track. I mean, okay, arguably, you want to know what these tires are like in the wet, in the cold, in the rain. But on track, I think it's where you sort of find the limits of, of that tire. We just had four pretty hot laps in there and they didn't start to feel spongy. So always a good sign. Anyway, outside of the tire being awesome, uh, the car park is maybe even more awesome. Cause I mean, just look at this. The cars which are around here, and these are cars, these aren't part of the event. These are just people that are just here. Um, now Thermal has, has an actual club. You basically come down here, track and chill. I no doubt there's a spa in there and things, but yeah, let's just have a quick, we'll wander around. NSX, cash chilling in the car park. How cool is this place? All right, as you've seen, there are some pretty incredible cars here, but this, this is the moment now that I've been waiting for probably the whole time I've been here, which is Hot Lap and then GT3 RS with Mark Webber. Yeah, once again, hard to convey these words that are actually coming out of my mouth, but that's what's happening right now. So without further ado, let's hop in both these cars and hit it.
all about the six, right? Well, it's you know the five speed is at one and a half, so around town it's long enough where you can play with it. Sure. But out here, when you don't need the overdrive and you can have that yeah, shorter ratio, yeah. I mean the car is just it's a good awesome. bit faster. It's 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 a lot of fun, man. I, I, Fantastic. I love driving this thing. Yeah, Dude, like, thanks so much for that. That's, that was me? a pleasure. Yeah, very so Funnily enough, I was on ice in Finland with uh, Bruno Senna last week. Oh wow. Which was good fun. Although much slower of course being up on ice, but yeah. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. What car was that? Which brand? McLaren 570S. Okay. Yeah, it was good fun. Good in bed, I'll marry you, never mind. <laughs> awesome. Dude, Thank you, Jordan, thanks very much, man. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, that was absolutely exceptionally cool. First experience in a singer and hot lap with Mark Webber in a GT3 RS. And oh my god, could he make that thing dance? Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao!